Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Expeditions Viking. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in the, um, the, the aftermath. Uh, and I just loaded the game, it's, it's taking a little while to, to load. Ooh, got a willow bow over there. Speaking of which, we need to uh, equip um, items. Um, so yeah, we, got a, we, we are here in the ap aftermath of... Uh, where's my axe? Did I... what happened to my axe? I didn't make an axe, or did I equip it already? Was... Hmm... I do not trust what is going on. Um, anyway, last episode we dealt with uh, a bunch of thieves, basically, that uh, all died. Because they didn't want to run away, and they should have run away, but they didn't. Um, and uh, they all died, so we're gonna take all their stuff. And I was... I was... I, we got a cork over there. Nice. Um, so I, I thought that we had made an axe. And that I didn't ha I hadn't equipped it, and uh, I had a shield as well. No, wait a minute. What what was that? It wasn't a shield. It was a bow. Yeah. Did I not make the bow? Or the axe? Or something? I think I'm missing... Hmm. I'm not really sure. I think I just missed and, and didn't actually produce anything. It might be wise to mark the location of the stone. Well, it would be, wouldn't it? I found it. Hmm. Yeah. It's a different... It's a different uh, dialogue, though. That's an interesting thing. Uh, okay, we can't do anything here. That's the guy that these guys killed, and we have access to over here. And we we hadn't we didn't come here before. Anyway, what are we doing today? We are meeting with the uh, well. We're actually impeding the guys from Osrad the second from meeting with the guys from Mersha, and uh, that's right right there. Uh, and uh, we are gonna meet with the guys from Mersha. Sounds like a plan. And this is, I think, the Northwest. Yes, indeed it is. This is the first optional uh, objective. And I'm going to save the game here, just in case, and prepare the ambush. Uh, Ketil is not with us because he went on to lay some traps. I don't know where he is. He should come. The wait is long. The sun begins to set on the next day. On the next day? Huh. They're almost here. Get ready, says Nephia. Well, they're here already. I need to... Just two enemies? Oh, no. No, they are not here, here yet. So I need to prepare for enemies to arrive in two turns, which means many things, I'm sure. Uh, so first things first, let's get... Where's Ketil? Well, Ketil is not with us. I can say goodbye to him. Um, let's put you over there, because you're going to take a few shots and see how things go. Uh, you are also going to... Mm... How long does that last? For that turn. Oh, it's for the single turn. Okay, so get that. Um, you are gonna stay back here. And uh, you're gonna go over there. And uh, you're gonna go over here. And then Morkant stays over here. I think the enemies are gonna come from this side. They should. Uh, we, we, could, we could set up some traps and do all sorts of nice stuff. But yeah, it's all fine. Uh, let's see. To get this, uh, How long does that last? Sacrament. I guess I could look. Let's see. Sacrament lasts... Uh, it, oh, it's over here. Uh, it doesn't It doesn't say how long it lasts. Okay. You get, you're going to do that. So you have the anticipation thing. That's very, very good. You can't have that because she doesn't have that for some reason. Oh, there she is. She does. Yeah, I thought I had given them that. And Venatis also has that. Fantastic. Okay, so next turn we will uh, defend and that's going to be that. Okay, you guys uh, defend. Not that it's going to matter, but at least that's something. Uh, you are going to do... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you're going to do another interrupt over there. Uh, you're going to do that. Did you do that already? I think she did that before, or she should have anyway. Uh, and you can do... Mm, you can interrupt as well. We're good here. Okay, let's see where they come from. Oh, I was right. That is great. That's actually really great. They're all in the same place. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so the sucker at the head is already wanting to die. I get a good shot back there. I'm going to go with uh, this over here. And I'm going to try to kill the guy with the, uh, with the archer with the archer dude. Because this guy, he can wait. Okay, so let's get this. Let's see if I can shoot him. 65%. 80%. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get me, get me a shot there. And I have one shot. Get me another one. And another one, okay. So that's a healer, right, okay. So that's that's good. It's totally con under control. And then I could, I could flank you, which probably isn't a bad, isn't a good idea. 
Mm, this guy, he needs to be hit. That's gonna be critical if I attack him. Uh, Nephia is he, totally in the wrong spot because she cannot move too fast. But now that we don't have arrows, that should be okay. Uh, so you're gonna kill him. Let me give you a charge just in case. There we go. Uh, and then we might be... Ooh, that guy. Yeah, okay. So I he, he probably doesn't have the shield hook. Or maybe they don't have that ability because it's only an axe ability. So, we'll be good. Let me see if I have a shield hook over here uh, for you. Because I'm going to try and give him uh, the, the thing that Morgan gives. So, he's exposed right there. Uh, and then you are going to do the other thing. The restore... No, this. This might be a waste, though. It's the first battle. Should be probably the easiest one. Uh, ensure that no enemies reach the highlighted area. Where's that highlighted area? Oh, all the way across. Sure. Uh, okay, so now he can attack again if I want to, and I do want to. I'm gonna do the charge over there. Yeah, that w that's why it was kind of a waste before with a critical and all that. Uh, maybe I should... Oh. You know what would have been good? It would be him. Him doing that, not him. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. No excuse. Let's bring you over there. You gotta do good things. Okay, so there we go. See what they decide to do. Not an attack of opportunity. That's a shield hook right there, indeed with an axe. So, you're gone. Okay. Unless these guys decide not to attack him. He does have good armor, though. Or she does. Yeah, she does. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, technical move. He's off. Great. Uh, this means that you need to die, and you will die, I think, with this. That's Not really. Right. I see the fear in your eyes. Yeah. Uh, now you can get a critical over there, so might as well go for it. Yeah, it, it points right there. Thought I wouldn't hurt you. Are you uh, kidding me? Think again. Are you kidding me? Okay. Let's test my luck here. Okay. Ah, oh, freaking hell! I wanted to shoot both of them. <laughs> oh well. Uh, we have one shot over there. And more can't can uh, call again for, for another thing, and we'll be fine. There's nothing there's nothing too terrible coming on. It's all fine. He does need a little bit of a heal, but apart from that, it's all good. Uh, so you're gonna kill... Yeah. There we go. Should have used the other abilities. Ah, it's down to that. I overestimated the power of my crits. Okay. Punching my shield. Oh, that guy's a bow. Okay, that's not a problem. Because he can only shoot the guys with a... Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, because now you go down, sir. Not really, but almost. Yeah, this is a good position. They're not coming. Okay, so you're going to get that. So you shoot him and kill. Down he goes. And then you can uh, do... You know what I would love is if I'd be able to heal him, but I can't. Because he's not in the right spot. Let me aid you. Oh. How did that work? Does he not take a charge? Or uh, an action? I don't think he does. Oh, interesting. Okay, down you go. Ha! Heavy swing to pierce the armor. And, uh, wait a minute. Ethel, oh, I thought it was Ethel Red or something. Ethel Wood is his name. And down you go. Ooh, to the head, I think. Oh, did you cut off his head? Mm, I'm not sure what that was, but we are victorious. And I enjoy being victorious. Not as thrilling a battle as the, uh, oh, existing injuries. That's what I see. Yeah, she's got a fractured head. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what happened to her. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll heal her up. It's all fine. Um, so let's take, and also make uh, not just the bow, but make the shields. Actually, I'm going to make two shields um, next time we camp. So there we go. We did this bit, and uh, now I need to foil the meeting. I've already foiled the meeting, because they are not meeting, ever. Uh, wait a minute. How, how is that fork of war over there? Man, being knight doesn't really help us at all. What is this? Oh, because it's the reaver. Yeah. Okay, so this is the guy that we actually killed. Uh, because, you know, he was dying and we showed mercy. Oh, save. Okay. Why are you aggressive? Excuse me, gentlemen. I, I would like to speak with uh, you. Mr. Godwith Wedden Bellen Tender's daughter. Oh, it's Mr. Mrs. Sorry. 
The merchant delegation finally arrives, led by a finely dressed woman with gray hair and stern eyes. She sizes you up in one hard-edged look, but when she speaks, her voice is measured and diplomatic. Vess Hall, your graces. My name is Godwiff. I represent Offer Rex Anglorum. Surely you m mean Rex Merciorium, your grace? Godwiff fixes Morkant with a look of such withering intensity that he visibly recoils. Forgive my impertinence, but you are not dressed like any Northumbrian I have met on my way here. Um, I am not Northumbrian. I am Norse, sent here by Osred as a neutral party. Her eyes narrow. That's an odd move. Are we not here to discuss terms of alliance between our kingdoms? Why would His Majesty send a, a, a neutral party to represent his interests? It's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I, I assume you, uh, I assure you, I am a loyal and trusted military advisor to King Osred. She's not quite buying it, but she must be willing to let it slide. Hmm, very well. Since your king arranged this meeting, I ask that you start by proposing the terms you have in mind for this alliance. Um... Okay, so I... I kind of wanted to br bring them into my alliance, but it's not like I can. Yeah, I must come clean. King Osred didn't send me here at all. And the emissary stiffens, her voice grows hard with caution. Explain yourself. I don't like that. I was sent by Ethelred to make sure such an alliance never happens. Make peace with your god. No, I didn't want that! Ah, well. It's not, I don't think I could do this any differently, though. I don't think I could do this any differently, so that's okay. Uh, will I be able to do good things to you? And by good things, I mean murder. Uh, I think I will. Let's do, move you over there. You're dead. Okay. So basically we're murdering everybody. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. I kind of wanted to... I could send them away. But they don't... I mean, it's just... They're just emissaries. It doesn't matter what they are. Uh, or who they, what they do or whatever. Uh, so you can shoot, which is fantastic. Because I'm going to shoot that guy, hopefully. Uh, let's see what the t hit chance is. 75. That's pretty good. Let's go with a ranging shot over here. I also need to shoot that guy. If I can, I will. But no, 0% chance to hit. Unless, somehow, he becomes not. Yeah, he's behind cover. Effectively behind cover. Uh, so... I could shoot you as well. That, that'd be an interesting thing. Let's see if I get a crit. Nope. Do not. It's fine. Shoot again. And he's dead. There we go. Okay, pretty good. Next up, uh, we have uh, Venatis. She can't go around. We have you to deal with that guy, but all I really need is to send somebody over there. I can't move, which is a problem. Uh, it's a real problem. I'm going to need to send Vanadis over here. Get that over there. Shield hook, because that guy is going to shield, shield hook me. Uh, then I move you over here with a charge. It's the best I can do for right now. There we go. And then... And then... I can... Inspire Nephia. To bring her over there. So this guy doesn't technically move or something. So let's see what I can do here. Oh, wait a minute. She... What? How? Hmm. I think I can extend. No, oh, not much. Not much. I didn't think I'd go out like this. Yeah, that didn't work exactly how I wanted it to, but it's okay. I don't think I have. Uh, I don't want to switch weapons. Yeah, I can't switch weapons. Okay, so we're good here. Let's see what this guy decides to do. He's got a bike. Ah, oh, 15 damage. It's fine. Technical move over there. Oh, damn it! He's running. I forgot. I didn't see him. Oh, nice. Unle no, not as nice. No. Morkant! You're dead, my friend. You're dead. I didn't want you dead because of reasons. This guy needs to die, though. Let's see if I can murder him. I can. Ah, uh, that was a kill. I think. Yeah, his arm is in a weird manner. Uh, okay, so we got that guy over there that I would love to be able to kill. Uh, 
but it seems that a quick shot is probably going to be a bad idea. On this guy, on the other hand, maybe not. Let's do that. Uh, uh, besides, I'm going to have some, some guys up here. What's oh, a girl? Sorry. I, I mean, I'm killing you, so there we go. Good. Uh, then, what I could do is actually I'm going to do two things. I'm going to send... Yeah, you get the attack of opportunity from there. I'm going to need to move you back here. See if you can move over... No, come on. Seriously? Okay. This is... I'm not really sure what to say over here. Uh... I think... So if I try to stun you... And I'm gonna try to... Even though that is a fool's errand... It worked! Okay, great. So you go over there, take care of that guy... And then let's hope that he doesn't decide to... Not... Care. Nah, he didn't. Or she didn't. Good. Okay, and you're out of your stun, and we're gonna t take care of you in a little bit. As for you, you are not anticipating or anything. 82 damage, pretty decent. You're gonna open that guy up. Expose or whatever, and that's fantastic. And then you do this. Two shots, really weren't necessary, but there we go. We might be even able to shoot you. 35%. Please don't shoot your friend. I don't think that's a thing. That... That was a miss on the friend, but I don't think that's a thing. And then you start moving, lady. Let's go. And you as well. Okay. Is there a trap over there? She so can sleep or anything. It's just cover. Okay. A little bit more damage to the shield. Not a problem. That's not actually a thing that we need to fix. And down you go. There we go. Victory. Where is Cattail? Who knows? Seriously, what the hell is Cattail? Return to Ethelred. I don't understand. Something ha I don't understand. I just don't understand. Uh, also, don't we have a key? Uh, I think we do. Or we should have a key. Hmm. Okay, let's look at our objectives here. Uh, okay, so we failed that. Final expedition... Maybe we have the key and we just need... I don't know. Because the guy's... Uh, mm, I don't have no idea where Kettle is. Yeah, I have no... The key that fits this hole. But the guys over here, they had a key. Or did they run away? Did I lose the key? Because they ran away? Is that what happened? Oh, I wanted to go downstairs. The more you stare at it, the less you understand. Maybe if you look upside down... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't I I don't really get. Because I don't see the, the spot for the key here. Pressing Alt. It doesn't seem like they left it behind. Unless it's over here and I'm just not looking No, there's little bits of water every once in a while, but yeah, there's no key over there. Okay, well let's get out. I think Kettle is still with us, it just went somewhere to lay some traps down that we never saw. It's all fine. It's all fine. I did that decision basically for the morale. And I we, we might get good good morale. I haven't looked. I haven't looked. Also, we need to have some skills. Uh, and some... It's gonna be a lot of things. Not a problem. Okay, so... Herdman, first and foremost. Cattle... Over there. Damn it. <laughs> I was scared for a moment. Uh, okay, so I have not enough... Oh, we didn't really gain too many... Skill points. That's okay. Uh, I need to return home over there, and I am going to need to sleep as well. Or camp. Let's camp over here, I think. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be the, the best course of action. Gone hungry right there. Are you sure? Yes, I am. So, basically, we, we keep the same setup as always. It's just... Uh, but it, the problem is when you get the healers, they it changes a little bit. Uh, so, first off, let's go with meat for everybody if we can. Uh, we're gonna need some hunting, some that. Okay, so you... Uh, I think I have somebody else with heal. Of course I do. Of course I do. It's, uh, Rusk uh Morkant. Oh, the problem is it's Morkant that needs to be healed. Mm. Okay, healed. Uh, yeah. Just heal that, and then... Wait a minute. Oh, they're both in need to be healed? Oh, then it's not as big a, of a deal. 
uh, because... No, 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 it's all fine. It's not as big of a deal because you don't actually need... Let's put rest in there. Because you can actually heal somebody as well. So you do that, you heal first, and then Ruskva is gonna heal you as well. And that's that, there's no, nothing else. And she can continue the preserving, I think that, that'd be a good thing. Yeah, preserving is a good thing. I think somebody else might be able to preserve as well. I, I have one point in preserve, uh, but I'd rather hunt. Is hunting good over here? It, I don't know where it shows. Uh, Nephia, yeah, okay, so you, Ketil, you're, you're hunting as well, you're pretty good at hunting. And you're hunting, there we go, okay. Then Gunnar is cleaning and repairing. We might need, yeah, we have the simple spear over there that needs to be destroyed, that's what it needs to be. Then we have Ides over here being fixed at the first turn. So I don't think it matters, but, uh, oh, she's preserving us, she can preserve. Oh, come on, seriously. She cannot craft. She cannot craft because, oh, are you kidding me? Because she's injured. That is a, that is a low blow. That is, that is bad. <laughs> that is bad. I, I, I wish you could just stop halfway through, but now, nah, well. Uh, okay, so I think then everything is good except for as Lefer over here that can repair instead of guard. I'm not gonna do that, so I think we're good. Let's make camp. It's the best thing I can do. Uh, as the sun sets, Idis rolls a, a small barrel of meat into the camp. Anyone up for a drink? Or ten? Says Idis. Gunnar grabs the meat from Midas' hands, takes a large swig, and wipes his mouth with a sleeve before handing it back. Best idea I've heard all week. What say you, Sigthorn? Let's turn this into a feast. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Everyone gets your fill. With a great cheer, and uh, all followers have gained morale, and I lost six meat. That's fine. Uh, I think just six meat? Is that? Mm, anyway, uh, that might have been the result of the camping. With a great cheer, everyone dips into the drink. A few extra pieces of meat are also thrown into a pot and cooked over the roaring fire. I think that's because we have the meat that we got the, that event. Long into the night, the meat still flows, and laughter and shouts fill the air. Your herdmen go about their tasks with a content smile and a sway in their step. One by one, everyone falls into a drunken slumbers, killing over where they sit. Hopefully they will feel alright in the morning. Okay. Nobody, uh, everything is good. Yeah, everything is perfect. We got all healthy over there. We could rest over here if we wanted to. Need to keep a look in my house because uh, we did spend, I think, a couple of days um, over where we were. So let's go over here. One day and six hours left. We're good. Let's look at our morale here. So we got heroic in dip one, two, eight, minus three there. He's getting a little bit better. Um, three there for you. Yeah, everybody's. I'm. I'm happy with the morale. Uh, and we have some scouted areas as well. So that's four hours over there. It's gonna require us to. Let me save the game just in case. And that was 15 wood. Very nice. Ah, we had to go cross country. That's okay. Take the same uh, guys as before. Ketil, Morkant, Vanadis, and uh, Nephia. There we go. And here we are again. In the settlement camp? I suppose it's a camp of King Ethelred, or Ethelred, depending on how you pronounce the I, or whatever. It could be I Ethelred if you want to say it like that. I, I believe these woods were greatly troubled by highwaymen before Ethelred made his camp here. I suspect they'll return once he's gone. Well, they, 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 they kind of, yeah, they, they probably will. You're right. Ethelred, he says Ethelred. We had read, we had heard, I think, Ethelred before, but yeah, I think that's a, that's a, that's a good way of saying it. Can I go in there? Can I, can I get myself, my hands in there? Is that a thing? Or is that one of those things? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, let's just go in here. Into oh, it's Ethelred now, not Wada. Great. And also, we could talk to this guy over here. No, unfortunately, he doesn't want to talk to us. He's still grieving his daughter. Okay, let's uh, have a chat with him. Ethelred is in his tent this time, surrounded by a group of finely dressed men, presumably his vassals. You're made to wait outside for nearly half an hour before the, vassal file, the vassals file out and Ethelred has time to see you. He doesn't bother to apologize for the delay. As you can see, he says, we're ready to attack Elfordwick. How did you, how did your mission go? Um... <laughs> it went. <laughs> um... Yeah, Mercia will not be joining the fight. He nods gruffly. Very good. Wada, see to it that Sigthorn is paid for his services. 
what it digs out for the tent and uh, nice uh, and uh, soon returns with two pouches full of coin your reward if not payment then a gift to represent your his majesty's gratitude now let's discuss the the master of the scouts enters the tent at full speed yet stops on a dime your majesty what what is it she takes the time to bow while giving her report. The enemy is coming, your majesty. Osred's army is entering Wing Inglewood from the south. Are you certain? I've seen my them myself, your majesty. Five hundred men strong, by my estimation. We must prepare at once. Wada, inform the others. Sigthorn, your, your majesty. Osred leads an army himself. Ethelred lights up with pleasure. Does he? <laughs> I don't think the fat old git had it in him. I didn't think. Yeah, what splendid luck. Sigthorn, prepare your people. Osred has made a terrible mistake in coming here. He'll be expecting us to stay on the defensive, so he'll try to surround us. But he won't expect you. Help us hold the northern flank. Osred will uh, concentrate his attack in the south so he doesn't have to maneuver his army around the camp. As long as you keep our backs clear, we'll beat him. Oh, yeah, we're in a 500 men. That's interesting. Because back in these times, actually, armies weren't very big. Uh, that's pretty awesome that, it, that it's a uh, merchant connection. That's not the quest. The Battle of Inglewood. Oh, my God. That's so awesome. It's, it's, oh, it sounds so awesome. Okay. This is where we're going. Yeah, back in the day, basically, armies of 500. That, that's a pretty decent army. Of, an army of 30 was already considered an army. So, it's just you can... I mean, here in Portugal, anyway, uh, we did have armies of 300 and 400 uh, back in these days. Uh, so, we have... Uh, Enemies that will arrive in three turns, and enemies that will arrive in six turns. But for right now, we have four enemies. And I can see three for whatever reason. We have one archer over there that I need to take into consideration, and we have these suckers. Okay, that guy is out. That guy is out. I I got hiccups. Uh-huh, that's what you get. And we got also the end of the episode. So I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Expeditions Viking. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. Uh, but above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.